Hi there! I'm Joseph, and welcome to my channel. I'm a kiteboarding dad based in Manila, and I've been doing this sport for more than a decade. I travel the country, wherever the wind blows, for kiteboarding adventures and competitions. Join me as I take you through my travels, kiteboarding adventures, and some sneak peeks on kiting lessons with our students. You'll also get to meet our growing local kiteboarding community. We'll share with you our fun weekend travel experiences from the food, the sights, the misadventures, and everything in between from this wild bunch of Manila-based kiters. Let's shred! Welcome back to my channel. So in this episode, we'll be featuring Cagbalete Island. Uh, nasabayan ito ng mauban sa may Quezon province. Yung mga captured videos and photos natin dito were taken over the course of 4 years. Yung isa prior to the pandemic and iba during the Philippine kiteboarding tournament. So the island, uh, approximately 3 hours drive to from Manila, uh, plus 45 minutes sa bangka ride and another 20 minutes na tractor ride papunta sa resort. You have the option to take the public transport uh, via bus or if you'll bring your private car with you, meron namang mga parking uh, stations doon. Uh, mga 200 overnight parking to 300. So yung ferry, be ready. Um, Pagkaamihan kasi malalaki yung alon tulad nito. Uh, pero certain months naman, uh, I think during summer, walang hangin, medyo banayad at kalmata naman nagtagal. Pagdating niyo sa port, uh, mag-arrange na lang kayo ng vehicle. Ito, this was arranged for uh, by our friends. Uh, you have to ride a tractor. Medyo bumpy yung daan. At since marami kaming gamit, ito yung pinaka-main transport namin. So dito, lumapag kami sa Villa Cleofas Resort. It's the one where uh, we held our uh, kiteboarding tournament on and here you can see medyo malawak yung area for our kites for landing uh, and uh, you know a great venue to uh, hold an event so just get in touch with them I think they have a page naman on Facebook uh, if you want to book rooms uh, uh, in their resort ito yung mga sample rooms nila Medyo malaki rin naman yung compound. No? Um, heads up lang, nung nandun kami, walang mga kuryente doon. Between 6 a.m. hanggang 6 p.m. And they open it na uh, at night. Ito naman yung private uh, resort nila, Ming and Tina Juan. Ito yung kitchen, dining area, clubhouse ng yung resort nila. And we got a chance to stay here back in February 2020 before the pandemic. And it's a really nice place. Along with their neighbors, Carlo Leongson, Mariel Candava, Ron Obligacion, and Lindy Teng. And yung pinikabagong neighbor nila, si Angie King. Uh, so they have this private uh, piece of land here uh, where they all kite and uh, they also built a school. It was really generous of them to be sharing uh, you know, their resources, teaching the locals there uh, how to kiteboard and uh, also uh, giving them the opportunity to compete in uh, local tournaments. No? So, kudos to you, Ming, Tina, and to the rest of the community. group. So, this is our skippers meeting. Uh, so, we do this every morning no, to brief and orient uh, all the competitors on what's going to happen uh, for the day. Uh, napasilip dito si Angie King uh, For those who don't know, he also kiteboards And uh, competes in the PKA During the last two stops, we were really blessed to have uh, Really windy conditions no, during the past two tournaments And uh, we thank uh, everybody for um, helping us mount this uh, amazing uh, tour uh, Here in the island so whether you're a beginner or a professional athlete looking for a you know quiet place to train or to learn uh, kite surfing, Tagbalete will be an ideal spot for you. 
dahil walang kuryente at medyo secluded yung lugar, sigurado makapag soul searching ka. Tulad ni Isa dito. Ito yung post-pandemic BK8 uh, tournament. Uh, mga local place. riders lang from Luzon. Mr. Joseph! Yung mga nakanaan dito. Yeah. Uh, yeah, was able to, to get a podium finish. Cheers, guys. Kudos to all of us from the Manila kiteboarding team, all the kite surfers, and most especially uh, to JRTs and to the rest of the Philippine Kiteboarding Association in uh, bringing this tournament on the island. Everybody really enjoyed, everybody had a great time, and uh, we all look forward to going back to the island and um, enjoy its uh, rustic beauty <laughs> in the nighttime. <laughs> White sand beach, clear waters, windy conditions. It's no wonder that some of our kiteboarding friends have decided to make their own place on the island. For sure, Tagbalete will always be a key destination for me uh, and my friends to kiteboard in. And more importantly, a place for us to reminisce and hang out with um, good buddies from way back during our Kaliraya years. It's great to see them all together again here on the island. I hope you enjoyed this feature on one of the key destination spots for us Manila-based kiters. Catch you on the next episode of Kitesurf Manila Adventure.